just talk a little bit about them and do you kind of look at that as an opportunity to work out any last kinks before the December schedule gets well, serious? Well, I, I see uh, Middle Tennessee very well coached, very disciplined, uh, fundamentally sound. A, a tough team for us, glad we're playing them at home. Just um, a solid three-point shooting team, can penetrate, just does an all-around probably good offensive team that sometimes we have difficult guarding. Alcorn State with 34 turnovers, you limit them to 20%. There couldn't have been much that you were unhappy with defensively well, at least. Well, I thought we got off to a slow start. I thought uh, we were a little sluggish at the beginning, and then I thought the second half we came around and played how we wanted to play. I thought Alcorn State played hard, but we needed to play harder. We needed to be more physical. We needed to, to work on our game and not worry about our opponents, and I thought the second half that's what we did. Ali, you touched on this a little bit after that game. Um, when Simmons is playing at a high level on the defensive end, how much difference does it? How much difference does that make with your performance? Well, I think when Megan is is um, solid on her offensive game, her defensive game takes a step up, and I'm trying to get Megan to, to focus on on the defense as well as her offense. But when she's playing the way she plays, she I thought she was solid, did some good things, didn't get in foul trouble. Um, I think she's a difficult player to guard. She's unbelievably quick with the ball, unbelievably quick with the ball. And when she puts her mind to it, she can be one of our, our better defenders. Do you think she still is coming to grips with the concept that her, that her defense can start her offense? I mean, it, it did in the second half of the Rice game, but, but yeah. that's, not, that's not a common practice with her. I well, I, I don't think so. And I think she's understanding the importance of defense and the emphasis we're putting on the, on the defensive end. So I think Megan has is, is at times let her offense uh, control her defense, and we're trying to change that mentality. And I think we're, we're, we're about there. What was it you saw in Bashar during the preseason that made you realize she could contribute the way she knows right off the bat as a freshman? Well, I think Bashar has just, she's a workhorse. And I, I just say she's old school. And she works hard. She works on every possession. She um, competes. Um, she's not the tallest, she's not the fastest, she just gets it done and, and, and um, she, she just is um, a competitor who is um, athletic and, and just works hard and, and she just makes up for maybe some skills that she doesn't have, but I, I would put the ball in her hands at any time. Does she remind you of any golf club players or anything like that? Well, I, 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 I think she has a little, just a little bit of... Uh, um, glory in her and I think we were, I don't know if you remember we had the corn fed chicks where they were just physical and, and, and solid that she reminds me of somebody just in there solid and uh, wants to be in the paint not too many kids want to be in the paint and I think she wants to be in the paint. Bashar commented on the conditioning and just how much that advances from this from high school and the suicides <laughs> you guys do back when you played here were you guys doing the same kind of conditioning the you, suicides could you do it? Absolutely because I'm not going to put them through something that I didn't do. I survived. We always say we survived, and Kyra and I survived it, so you can do it. I think that um, when you're in great shape and you know your back's been against the wall and pushed and pushed and pushed, and you survive it, you know you can do just about anything. And the conditioning between high school and college is, is not even close. And uh, it's tough. It is mental. It's probably not as much physical as I think. It's more mental. And it's a mental challenge for them. And when they when they decide to put their mind to it, and they can do it, then they think, "Wow, I can I can do anything." It's a great question. Schedule's getting a whole lot tougher right now, too. I know you're taking that. I know it's a sports cliche, but you literally are going one at a time. If you look at it, I mean, you got Middle, North Carolina, Texas, Baylor. These young kids, do they realize that it's not, there's not going to be 90 to 37 games coming up? Are they ready for what this schedule is about to do? Well, Marie, I think from day one, our first game, we understood it's one game at a time. When you lose your first game to UTC, a solid team. And then, then from then on, we've, we've just really focused on one game at a time. And, and you look at our schedule, it, it is a bit crazy. But it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. It's a challenge. It's uh, about competing, getting ready, mentally and physically ready. And uh, that's up to our staff to, to do that, get our kids ready to play in all these different environments, these different skilled kids, whether they're ranked one or uh, 20, we have to come out and compete every game. And uh, it is one game at a time. And that's how we have to look at it because our schedule does not get 
uh, any easier. And then after we get through this tough, this tough uh, uh, part of our schedule, we get to start the SEC. So we we understand it. It is what it is, and. Uh, we just going to try to get compete in every game. Speaking of rankings, 16 or 14, I know you're not really paying attention to them, but is it nice to be moving up right now well, at least? Absolutely. I didn't even know until I just came in here and found out. So, yeah, it's it's awesome. I mean, to be to be 20 or 14, 16, I'll, I'll take the I'll take the. 14, You'd rather 16. go up, wouldn't absolutely. you? Absolutely. Yeah. I'd rather go up. But I I understand at the end of the day, it's about it's about wins. I understand that we started the season low because we lost five seniors. We hadn't proven ourselves, and we have never arrived. And I think that's that's been our um, success is is we keep getting better and better, and and uh, we're about competing and getting these young kids ready. Given all those factors you just mentioned, how much do you feel like this team has to prove? Oh, uh, tremendously from day one. I, I, I think they their skill level has gotten better. I will say this: there's not hadn't been too many days where we have not competed and been competitive and worked hard in practice. And, and as a coach, that needs to be a given so you can teach and coach. And this team seems to get it, whether some days they don't and we have to run, we have to do suicides to get their attention. But I think this team overall gets it that they have to bring it to practice every day. That's the only way we're going to get better. Real quick, we're doing a Christmas thing. What's your favorite? That's a great question, Chris. I, you know what, my dad and, and I used to soap our Christmas tree with ivy, ivory soap in the powder and we would mix it with a with a uh, blender and then we we put it on our hands and put it on the tree and it looks like the authentic way of, of snow on the tree so i don't do it anymore it's a lot of work but uh, if i had to say one of one of my christmas memories was cutting down a cedar tree and then making our own snow and putting it on the tree great question